Good morning, brethren. And I've taken up the, the slogan of saying, thank God it's Friday. Not because it's another Friday and the weekend is so big. No, because every day that God creates, we should be rejoicing and be glad in it because the devil never created a day. Hey, we're looking forward to Sunday. We hope you'll be a, a visit with us at the VPA we're in person. We prefer to see you because when God begins to speak in person, he reaches out and touches you like no other time. So we hope to see you on Sunday morning. I'm wrapping up this week now with our 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verses 3 to 5. Hear what it says. It says, For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds, casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God, and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. I love this passage of scripture because a lot of times we think we could allow our thoughts to run crazy and, and somehow God will think, let me bring you back to the Garden of Eden for a moment and for you to recognize the devil planted the seed, but for Eve to eat of the fruit, she had to now ponder, contemplate, consider, meditate. And by the time she's through, she's coming up with a very good reason why she should eat the fruit. Not realizing that in eating the fruit, she was falling captive to the thoughts of the enemy. And in truth and in fact, rejecting the will, the word, and even God himself. Sometimes the seed is planted as somebody doing something to us and the seed is planted that we should get them back. Sometimes the seed is planted as greed. Sometimes the seed is planted as selfishness. We don't realize that those things are trying to take our minds into captivity. But the Bible says, We've been given strength and power by the Spirit of God so that we're able to win, that we're able to prevail. We're able to cast down what the enemy is planning and doing so that he does not have the victory over us, but that we through Christ can be victorious. So it says, We've got to manage our thoughts. We've got to manage what we look at. We've got to be careful what we let in. Because once it's in, then the battle really begins. And I, I pray you'd realize that some of the things you've allowed to settle in your spirit are really supposed to, you're really supposed to be fighting against it and casting it down, putting your feet on it so that you have the mastery and the victory over it. The devil may be the tempter, but we become the sinners. When the thought is developed, when the desire has been thought through sufficiently, it becomes sin because we practice what we think. I hope you realize that God wants us to practice godly things because we're thinking godly thoughts. Because of that, He reigns. He reigns in us. In fact, He reigns in you. He reads it. So Father, thank you this morning that you helped us to come to a place where we're willing to fight so that our minds and our thoughts are not held captive by another, but they're held captive by you. We bless you for that. And so we command the enemy to stay put as we produce the thoughts of God and we command the enemy to come out as we cast those thoughts out. We call on God so that we might live. We thank you, Father, for doing it. In Jesus' name, amen.